and welcome to Experience TV. This is a test for a new segment idea uh, called uh, Tech Focus. And what we're going to do is take a look at some technology, uh, which should be quite good. Today, we've got for you the IAM Plus dial. Um, I want to say before we start doing this that I have not been paid by Will I Am or Three or any other companies that I might mention to do this. Um, this is entirely off of my own back. Um, I saw this piece of technology and thought I'd give it a go. Um, what I want to know is, can it really be used as a replacement for a phone? Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the dial, it's a new uh, smart cuff uh, designed by Will I Am, and it's supposed to actually be a standalone telephone, um, and it's voice operated. So it's going to be very interesting to see how I get along with that. Also, it's got the touch screen and everything, you can get apps for it. So I'm going to try and see how I get along with it. There'll be vlogs. Um, I'll continue to use it for as long as I feel comfortable with it um, until I decide that, okay, yeah, either I can live with this or I can't live with this. <laughs> and we'll see. Right, so it has just literally arrived. It's uh, been delivered today. Uh, I'm actually using my Tascam to record the audio because... On there, on the camera here, it's quite echoey, and I thought on here it might be slightly less echoey, even though it's over peaking quite a lot. Anyway, I'm going to pop this down for a second, so hopefully you won't lose too much of my voice. Whoa, that's in a dodgy position right there. And I'm going to open this up. So let me just rip it open. And in here I have my delivery note with serial number and the phone number. Yes, the cuff has its own telephone number. Changed your mind, please return me. Okay, nope, there's my SIM. We've got the lowest pay as you go SIM rates. Oh, whatever. Free pay as you go SIM for your old phone. What? Oh, so this is for my old phone. But I don't need a pay as you go SIM card because I've already got a contract. Anyway, <laughs> oh, what's this one? Oh, this is, this is the SIM card. <laughs> it's one free pay as you go and one normal one. Marvellous. Okay. Lovely. Maybe I'll give that one to Dad or something. Because then at least I can call him on his mobile for free. We'll see. Uh, and this one, pay monthly. Right. Here it is. The dial. Dial, or... Because the actual um, screen there is reversed, it's LAIB, L-A-I-B. Uh, so we're going to unbox this now, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking this already, on the thing there. Don't know if you can see it. Made with 100% polyfresh, 99 gigabytes of DAF. Dope as fuckness. <laughs> I do like that. That's quite good. So here's the box. Uh, I'm going to change the angle of the camera so we can have a look at the stuff as I'm unboxing it. Um, forgive the table. It's a dining table. It's got some um, marks on it, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. All right, so we're going to move the camera down and we're going to unbox the dial. Right, okay. You can see my uh, microphone thing here um, and the rubbish from, you know, the actual <laughs> unpacking of the box. Uh, this is the black one. Now what kind of really got me intrigued into it is the uh, system specifications down here. So it's a quad core 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm processor. It has two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Now that makes it pretty much the most powerful smartwatch available. I was looking at the Samsung Gear and the Apple, and they've only got like 512 megs of RAM and only 4 or 8 gigs of storage. My phone itself has 32 gigs of storage, or is it 64? I can't remember. I think I was, I was after 32 gigs. I know that much. I, I don't go any lower than that. And this has got the same storage capacity as my phone. It's also almost as powerful as my phone. My phone has 2 gigs of RAM and a quad-core um, Qualcomm processor as well. So, yeah, <laughs> that was very interesting. Uh, so what we're going to do then, we're going to do the tabs here. 
I should have bought myself a knife. One moment, let me just grab a knife. Okay, knife obtained. Let's just uh, slit here this tab. Just being very careful. I don't want to accidentally do something. And there's, there's another tab here. Just very carefully. I don't want to damage the box or anything. Okay, so that's those two tabs. And I'm guessing we just pull this out. <laughs> Polyfresh 99 gigabytes of DAF. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the dial cuff. Nothing else in there. Empty box, so we put that to one side. And there we go. So this here will be the dial itself. Let's just pull this out. Okay. And there we have the dial cuff. Oh, let me just put that into shot so you can see it. Uh, so far, so nice. It's got uh, some bits and pieces on it to protect the cuff. So we'll pull this plastic off. It feels fairly well built. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it's got a nice, nice finish on that cuff there. It's not... Um, it doesn't feel like smooth, cheap plastic. It feels like a nice, a nice finish. The screen here is Gorilla Glass three, so it should be very robust. Um, and I think, what? How do we open this up? There we go. Now this is actually the battery. So the battery just clips on here, and the actual thing is magnetic. So we're going to slap that on my wrist. Hopefully, it will fit. That fits quite nicely, actually. That's very, very comfortable. It uh, it feels like a, a good wristwatch. You know, I can't uh, twizzle it round my wrist, but I suppose that's not the point of it. Okay, so that's the cuff itself. Uh, and in here, I'm guessing under this little panel is where we put the SIM card. Yep, there's a little, I don't know if you can see that in there, there's a little opening for a SIM card. So I'm going to stick the SIM card into there. And that's, there we go. So that clips in there, and then it goes into the back like so. Marvellous. So now that's all set up there. That's the dark half. Now let's see what else we get in this package. There's some things here. I think these are headphones. So how do we open this up? Oh, there we go. We've got a little drawer on the side. There we go. So I don't think there's going to be anything else in here. Um, this looks like it's finished with, so let's put that over with the other box. And see what is in this box. This Oh, actually, this box has got a nice feeling to it as well. Now, I think these are the special headphones that come with it. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. So, layout of accessories. <laughs> this is an interesting thing. So, this is the accessories that come with it. So, we've got a wall plug, a USB power adapter, an uh, extender for dials. So, if my wrist is uh, too big, it can extend it slightly. USB charging cable for dial, micro USB charging cable for earphones, and Bluetooth earphones. So, this comes with a pair of Bluetooth earphones. Uh, a little let's get started manual. So, how to use the extender how to turn it on and off, uh, what's in the box, how to charge the dial, how to set it up, how to change the battery, use the extender, using the earphones, how to charge the earphones, pairing the earphones. Okay, we're going to go through all of this and see how easy it is to actually set up as well. Uh, warranty information there in the box, lovely. And here, uh, this this is oh let's have a look at what's the <laughs> thing so this should be the wall plug here in this I like the way this is packaged this is really nice and neat um, and very very nicely done uh, so this is the wall plug is it there we go Ooh, there we go it's a wall plug for sure so UK three pin wall plug which is very useful let's try and move this around a bit so you can see it a bit better so UK wall plug and it's got this plastic protection stuff on here, so let's just remove this. I don't have nails. Oh, there we go. We've got it. Down we go. Right. So, wall plug. Check. 
This is the USB power adapter and the extender for dial. So let's just slide this out of here. There's the USB power adapter, and this little thing here is the extender. I don't think I need that because it fits my rest, wrist quite nicely. So I'm going to just slide that back in there and pop that back in. And we're going to close this box up and pop that back in there. Lovely. So the power adapter, and this goes round, I'm guessing this way. There we go. So now I've got a wall adapter for the dial. Nice. Let's move this out of the way. Right, next little box is the USB charging cable for the dial. Let's open this and see how we go. So again, that feels fairly lightweight and uh, plasticky though. Oh, however, this is a braided cable, which is quite nice. So I'm pretty sure that this won't um, be destroyed as easily as like the iPhone cables do or the lightning cables. Um, I've got a braided cable on my headphones and that has lasted a good three years before it started to fray. So I've got high hopes for this and I'm guessing then this just clips on... Oh, yeah, it's magnetic. So it just clips on the bottom there of the dial. Nice. I'm sure you could probably get a stand or something that would hold it as well, but I'm thinking when it's... It doesn't quite stand up, but... That's only a minor thing. Anyway, so cable, and that feels really nice quality, that does, so that's good. Good quality there, well done. And finally, this little package here is the Bluetooth headphones that come with it. Let's see what these look like. Okay, so we've got a charging cable for the headphones themselves, which is very nice. Again, it's the same braided cable, which looks really good quality. Put that to the one side. And we have the Bluetooth earphones. How do we get these out now? I'm guessing we just uh, slip them up and slip them down. And pull them out. Right. Here we are, Bluetooth headphones. Now these look kind of funky, don't they? <laughs> They've got that, that thing at the back. But the interesting thing about these is you put them around your neck and they will actually hold together so they won't easily fall off of your neck which is quite quite nice um, the one thing I have problems with with headphones that go in ear is the fact that my ears are very oddly sized but these are a Bluetooth 4 headphones so they should get good quality from them right they're called EPs Let's uh, see how well they fit inside my ears then. I'm just going to pop them in my ears. Okay, they, they're fairly, fairly comfortable. I'm not quite sure how well these are going to do because I don't feel that they've got that little vacuum of... Um, that little feeling of... of, 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 of uh, that little feeling of a vacuum inside my ears. So I'm not sure how the, the bass is going to respond on these. Right, so that's the unboxing. Now let's go straight on to a setup. Um, I'm going to try the power button and see if that will actually turn the watch on and see if there is any actual um, charge in the thing as it comes. So let's try this. Yep, there is some charge in there. And just how much charge? Let's find out. Registering your device on AM Plus Network. Okay. Please go to i.am slash setup on your computer, mobile, or laptop and set up your device. When prompted for phone number, please enter the number displayed on screen. Okay. Right. So I'm going to go away and quickly set, register this on the computer. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back again and the setup is complete. There was a slight glitch um, when I tried to set up an external email account. Uh, my experience TV email, um, so I'll try that again later. But I managed to get my Google account connected, which has got all of my appointments and everything on my Google Calendar. So that's not too bad. Uh, the rest of it was fairly simple. There's an option to customize the music uh, that you listen to. Um, I just skipped that because I will probably do that later. I haven't given it much thought because you can only select five genres. And I've, I like all genres of music, really, um, apart from some of the hip-hop stuff. Um, 
but then that's just my personal preference. And so, it's all set up, it's all complete, and what I want to do now is uh, start the tutorial, okay? So, it's got an option for a tutorial, so let's just go yes. Pull down for notifications. So, pull down for notifications. Swipe the card to dismiss it. Okay, so swipe a card to dismiss it. Okay. And then up again. Pull up for music controls. Pull up for music controls. I don't know if you can hear it. And pull down again. Swipe right for the quick settings. Quick settings, okay. So that's Bluetooth, Wi Fi, um, location services, mute. It's also got signal, and I've got 58% battery, which isn't too bad. Oh, there's the volume slider. Swipe left for the skill lists. Okay. So Swipe left to enter a skill. So the skill is call. Swipe right edge to navigate the skill. Okay. So tap here. Okay. Swipe right to go back to the skill lists. Hold the button below before Anita. What can I help you with? What's my name? Do you want to repeat or exit the tutorial? Okay, exit then. Your... your this is probably going to say your name is... Right, finish. Ready for use. I've got three notifications already. Touch to start syncing emails for your accounts. Waiting for sync. I really shouldn't be doing this over the 3G connection, should I? Let's try and get the uh, Wi-Fi connected here, actually. Password. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Right. The input is a QWERTY keyboard <laughs> on here. Um, this is going to be very interesting to type on. So I'm going to try and connect to my Wi-Fi and see how that experience goes. I've got to get my password because I can't remember it. Okay. Well, that wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. Um, connect. Obtaining IP address. Connected. Well, there we go. I'm connected to Wi-Fi now. Uh, device, personal, location, system. Right. Let's... There should be system update. So let's download and install the system update. It's a five megabyte download, and with my internet connection, that's going quite quickly there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's a glare. And that's the telephone. Um, okay, install the update, and I won't be able to use it for about 10 minutes. But so far, yep, I'm enjoying the, um, the dial. It's easy to set up. Uh, one of the things that made me really go for this is, although I've only got like a half a gig um, of data allowance on this thing, I'm going to have uh, a streaming service on here that will allow me to listen to up to th around 30 million different songs, but I don't pay any extra for that streaming. So it doesn't come out of my data allowance, and I don't have to pay a subscription charge. It's all included in the dial. If you're a three subscriber already, you should be able to get the dial for no upfront cost. The contract, the smallest contract with 100 minutes and half a gig of RAM per month is £24, I believe. So, yeah, I'm going to play about with it for a little bit and then I will vlog about how it is to use. All right. Okay, then I'll see you in another vlog, but that's all for Tech Focus now. And hope that was interesting, and whether you want to get one or not, um, if you want to wait for the, the first vlog for me using this, then please feel free to wait around. Subscribe to the channel, and you'll get a notification when it gets uploaded. Uh, feel free to check out the gameplay videos we've got on here. There's some more stuff going to be coming soon. Um, and yeah, the next one will have a review of the headphones and how easy it is to use. But thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, until the next video, catch you later. Bye.